You know, all too often we don't hear a whole lot about them in the U.S., but they're really making a name for themselves, and my hope is that we'll see more of them as time goes on. How's it going, guys? I'm Aaron from PhoneDog.com, Mobile World Congress 2013 in Barcelona, and you can see here I'm at the Huawei Ascend G slash Y series area, and this is the Huawei Honor 2. Now, specs-wise, you know what? This may not look like an incredible device, but when it comes to specs, it's packing quite a bit under the hood. My hope, again, like I said with the Ascend P2, I'd love to see something like this come to the States, perhaps in a postpaid carrier, or prepaid carrier, rather, an MVNO or a postpaid carrier as a lower cost option. But you can see the Honor 2 has pretty decent specifications all around. It's got a quad core 1.4 gigahertz CPU, a 4.5 inch HD IPS display, 720p, one gigabyte of RAM on this device. You get an 8 megapixel camera, and then on the back, or excuse me, on the front, you got a 1.3 megapixel front facing shooter. 2,100 milliamp hour battery as well with Android 4.0. So it runs relatively quickly thanks to the quad core CPU. It's got one gigabyte of RAM that maybe, you know, if I had to pick one thing I didn't like about it, much like the Ascend P2, I get the cost cutting need on this one to do one gigabyte of RAM, but still, I'd like to see something with two gigabytes of RAM. But overall, pretty fast all around, little to no lag, and you can see little to no customization as well. You got some basic customization up here with the user interface of Android 4.0. You got some shortcuts up here, and then you can see some of Huawei's uh, applications and some of the overall look and feel slightly tweaked. But for the most part, it's a stock build of Android 4.0, a relatively stock build of Android 4.0. Let's talk about the hardware. 4.5 inch display, like I said, you got a menu button, a home button, and a back button down here at the bottom. Micro USB charge charging port on the left, power button, volume rocker over on the right, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack up top, and then of course your camera on the back, 8 megapixel camera, like I said, with your speakers at the bottom. So all in all, pretty decent device all around. Would love to see this come again to the States as an alternative to some of the industry heavyweights in the good old US of A. Keep it locked on PhoneDog.com for more coverage from a War Congress 2013. Hit me up on Twitter, PhoneDog underscore Aaron, Facebook, Facebook.com slash PhoneDogAB. You'd think it was a suits convention, but uh, it's actually a cell phone convention, cell phone trade show. So keep it locked on the site for continuing coverage. And as always, we'll see you next time.